Alright, I'm going to show you Stephen Anderson's Catholic papal leanings on this whole divorce marriage thing that he believes in. He basically says that there's no exception to for divorce no matter what. It's a it's a death to you part and there's no scripture basis for that. The Bible does give grounds for divorce. But in Roman Catholicism, marriage is a holy sacrament. It's a holy, you know, union, a sacrament. It's a uh, it's it and it basically pertains to your spiritual life. Here's from the Catholic Church Catechism, number 2360. Sexuality is ordered as a conjugal love of man and woman. In marriage, the physical intimacy of the spouses becomes a sign and pledge of spiritual communion. You know, chapter and verse on that, please. Marriage bonds between baptized persons are sanctified by the sacrament. So it's a sacrament to Roman Catholicism, this whole marriage thing. That's why they take it so seriously. What you're going to see in these clips of, of Anderson, he just is... Just teaching Roman Catholicism. So here's the first thing. Um, this is at 3, 40, 3 minutes and 48 seconds in. He says, basically what the Catholic Catechism teaches. Watch this. Okay, so it, it, it's it's nonsense. To, you know, when you sit there, oh, well, this exception and that exception, this exception. You know what, folks? There is no exception. If you're married right now, you are married and it's still death to you part. Don't have this thing of, well, you know, in cases of unfaithfulness or abandonment or drunkenness or abuse. That's like the Catholic Church doesn't allow divorce except in case of drunkenness. Problem is, every Catholic is drunk virtually. He's right there. Most Catholics are drunk. Funny, for, for being the Church of Christ, the Roman Catholic Church is pretty wicked. Um, but you see right there, it's the death to you part. It's, it's never allowed. Just like the Catholic Church teaches, it's a holy sacrament of marriage. In this next clip, if you go to the notes, um, four, uh, four seconds in, he has it, four seconds into this thing, there's a little rant he does, book Kent Hoven. I, because I hate this stupid doctrine that makes marriage so easy to get out of. No, it's supposed to be binding. And you know why I hate this doctrine? Because I get too many phone calls from too many men who are saying, my wife's leaving me. I don't know what to do. And I hear from too many women that say, oh, my husband left me. I don't know what to do. I've seen so many people commit suicide. I've seen their lives ruined. I've seen lives destroyed, children destroyed, marriages destroyed. And you want to know what the number one reason why? It's a stupid doctrine coming from churches that says it's okay to get divorced. Now, he's right. I mean, divorce is definitely a sin. He's right to an extent. But what he's saying is that it's never allowed, which is not biblical. I'm, I'm going to show you some scriptures proving that there are exceptions for it. But again, it's a sacrament. It's holy matrimony, you know, exactly what the Catholic Church teaches. Now, here's this, this funny little rant that Anderson does. Um, I have a notes at, um, oh yeah, actually, I'll just go to the very beginning of it. Actually, no, 14 seconds in. That's how I have my, my time stamps. 14 seconds in, he goes on this, this rant. And look what he says about Kent Hovind. And by the way, Kent Hovind was definitely sinning when he was he was doing what he did. Because adultery is a sin and so is divorce. But again, Anderson's standpoint is that there's no exceptions to it, which there is. Okay? There are exceptions and grounds for divorce. And again, I'm going to show you the scriptures proving that. Garbage. And let me tell you, this guy, look, and I defended Kent Hovind when his wife is divorcing him. But you know what? I'm going to call him out right now. And you say, well, it's none of your business. Well, you know what? He goes on YouTube and puts out a video telling everybody, if you don't agree with me committing adultery, then you're a hypocrite and a Pharisee. Well, you know what? I'm a Pharisee then. I'm a Pharisee. Yeah, you know what? Actually, Kent Hovind, in Matthew 19, it was the Pharisees that justified divorce and remarriage. Read the Bible, folks. Matthew chapter 19. The Pharisees came to Jesus and said, you can divorce your wife for any reason you want. That's what the Pharisees believe. That's what rabbinical Judaism teaches. That's what they taught. No, it was Jesus who rebuked the Pharisees and said, no, you, when you get married, it's till death. And what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Amen. Look, if Ken Hovind wants to marry a divorced woman, you know, whatever, that's his business. But for him to get up and tell everybody, oh, I prayed about it, I fasted. The funny thing about that is Anderson's parents are divorced. 
you know, uh, Brian Dellinger has a video on that. Um, just go on YouTube and search up Stephen Anderson's parents divorced, and his parents are divorced. You know, the hypocrisy. But you know, what do we expect? And I sought God the counsel, and I told God, I'm willing to do whatever you want, God. And this is what God led me to do, to marry a divorced woman. That's a lie out of the pit of hell. God would never lead you to disobey the Bible. And look, if he would have just said, well, you know what? I'm going to marry a divorced woman because I'm, I'm weak. I've been in prison for years. And, uh, you know, I, I'm throwing up my hands on my marriage. I give up. I'm just getting, you know what? Whatever. I wouldn't even make a big deal out of it because, you know what? That's his business. He's the one who's going to deal with the consequences for that. I'm not that. In, but you know what? When he's just going to publicly announce, and he even said, I want this to be an example to other divorced people. That's what he said. Who heard him say it? Yeah, see, am I making this up? He flat out said, I want other people who are divorced to see this example. Where, oh, oh, you mean you mean where you're already you're already scheming on a divorced woman before your wife has even divorced you? We're defending you in April and you've been scheming on this other woman since February? And you know what? People try to say, oh, Ken Hovind, there's nothing he could do about his wife leaving. How do you know? And even if that's true, okay, is he marrying a single? Is he marrying a widow? No, he's marrying a divorced woman. Go to Luke 16. And I'll skip ahead. You know, again, it's Roman Catholicism, what he's teaching. You know, it's a sacrament. And again, I, I agree with him. What Kent Hovind dove with, Kent, yeah, what Kent Hovind, Hovind, whatever, I forget what, how you say his name. Kent Hovind, what he did was, was, uh, Hovind, sorry, Hovind, what he did was, was pretty wicked. I mean, uh, no doubt about that. But again, there are exceptions to divorce. I mean, there are exceptions for marriage. I mean, it's not this Catholic thing of, oh, it's still death to you apart. That's a Catholic heresy. But I'm going to jump to 5 minutes and 35 seconds in. He goes on this big, huge rant. Um, 5 minutes and 35 seconds. Or 39 seconds, sorry. Out. And, and you know what? We need to have a do or die attitude toward marriage. And you know what? It's amazing. When people believe the doctrine that Jesus taught, that, that it's a one time, you get married, it's till death do us part, and there's no way out except the grave. Isn't it amazing how people find a way to make it work? Not necessarily true, actually. There are, there are many cases where it doesn't work. Um, you know, but let's get into some scripture real quick. Here's, here are some verses that Anderson won't show you, and the Catholic Church won't show you. Matthew chapter 5, verse 32. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saying for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery, and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. Hmm. Saving the cause of fornication. Um, fornication is grounds for divorce. If the, if the spouse is committing fornication, you can divorce them. Uh, Matthew chapter, I've written in my notes, Matthew chapter 19, verse 9. It says, where is it? But I say unto you, moreover, Whoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. And whosoever whoso marry, sorry, whoso marrieth her, which put, is put away, doth commit adultery. Except it be for fornication. There are exceptions for divorce, according to Jesus Christ. So don't believe this Catholic teaching of its sacrament, its holy matrimony, it's to death to you apart. Roman Catholicism, Catholic heresy is all it is. So, anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.